Welcome to the Story Takes Responsibility podcast, a show for companies, marketing teams, and founders looking to improve their storytelling through video, make the process easier, and feel more confident walking into their marketing plans. Our mission is to add value through our decade plus experience in making video production more than just videos, but videos with objectives and partnerships with brands that value consistency. Our hope is that this podcast makes you more sustainable and budget conscious in your marketing efforts. This show will inspire ideas and value, but most importantly, we want you to take action towards better storytelling. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Ross and Josh here from Milan as we set out on this new new fun creative venture here in the form of a podcast, not necessarily new to either of us uh, necessarily in making a podcast in general, but making one specifically to talk all things Milan, how we craft and create stories in all the different ways, hoping to kind of maybe educate some people on that are either working with us, alongside us, creative partners, whatever it may be, and kind of just cover a little bit of everything that we do. So Josh, uh, I don't know whether to say welcome to the show or thanks for being here. Technically, it's a little bit of your show. I'm also here to kind of help guide. But uh, that's what this episode's for, right? Is to kind of lay everything out, lay the groundwork and foundation for what exactly this Milan podcast is going to be and maybe uncover whose show it really is. Yeah, I think we're going to figure out slowly whose show it is. Slowly but, but surely. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, we wanted to put this together because, you know, we love podcasts. We feel like they've been a great resource for ourselves and kind of growing ourselves in our own craft and our personality. And what better way to help support some of our partners, but also just people in general who are curious about video production, content creation, marketing in general. So we don't have all the answers, but who we work for, we tend to help them kind of feel more confident throughout the process of video marketing. So that's who this show's for. It's for anyone who's really just curious about like, how do I go about video production? Am I, am I scared to tap into that? Am I new to business? Have I been marketing for a while? Am I frustrated? How do I maybe start to become a little bit more confident, a little bit more clear, and to understand that this whole marketing thing isn't as scary as it really is because That's what we've kind of figured out over the years, that what we do, how we add the most value. So this is us kind of trying to do that at scale to let people kind of come into our world and see if it adds value to them whenever they can. So first episode, we're going to just spend a little bit of time talking about who we are, what we do, the way that we do it, and, you know, just some nerdy stuff. And then each episode moving forward, we'll kind of dig into more specialized sort of pieces of content to actually add value to your marketing efforts. You said nerdy thing. I'm not, I don't want people to think I'm a nerd. We're nerds. (sighs) Well, something I would love to dig into uh, right off the start, something fun because I just love hearing the definition of it. And I love when people find out what it means. Tell the people what exactly Mylan means. So I want to express what the definition is, but I kind of want to uncover how it came to be. You know, in a lot of our businesses, we've done a lot of work and we've kind of created the backbone, the process. And when we were making Mylan, there was no name. It was just like, hey, we want to give this commercial video thing an effort. We both freelance. We both had our own personal clients. We've done the things, but we didn't have the name. And, you know, we were kind of struggling over, like, what's it going to be? We tested a few names over, and none of them really stuck. Mylan was the first thing that stuck because it really felt like it found us. So Mylan, you know, and I'm, I'm not a scientist, so I'm going to butcher this to a certain degree, but the idea of Mylan is it's the, the white matter in your brain. It's the insulation around neurotransmitters. And something we've done with video is we've really thought about it from a long-term approach. You know, it's great to do big, flashy, creative ideas. But one of the things that's been really crucial for us and for our clients is not just thinking about like, what's the thing right now? What's the thing right now and in the future? So myelin really comes into play. You only get myelin when you do deep practice when you insulate those neurotransmitters, it's really excited to get excited about something. Say you're learning a new skill, a new hobby, those neurotransmitters fire off. But if you don't continue to practice that thing, continue to do that over and over, it never myelinates. Myelination only happens through deep practice, through consistency, through connection time and time again. So a lot of what we're trying to do when we're doing this large body volume of content is we're trying to insulate the storytelling mechanism of brands. We're myelinating them throughout that process. And I remember, you know, I'm, I'm reading this book, The Talent Code, which is where this kind of comes from. It's like, it's this book on, you know, the greatest coaches in the world, the process. And when it introduced this myelin thing, I was like, dude, I have to tell you about this. And, and for me, it really uncovered what became like, oh, when I think about how we got to be who we are, 
we've never been afraid to do things over and over, to process it, to make systems out of it. And it's made us really confident in the process. We do the same thing in our storytelling for our clients. And I remember I told you about the terminology, you really grabbed onto it and you're like, what do you think about naming the brand that? And instantly I'm like, yes, that, that feels like it's us. It feels like what we're about. And, you know, at the end of the day, I think that's one of the best gifts that we give to someone is that cons that, that consistency and that confidence in storytelling. So another thing that I'd love to kind of establish here on this very first episode, uh, what exactly are we right? What exactly is Mylan? Because we take a little bit of a different approach when it comes to, I don't know. I mean, video production, yes, that's an element, but more so creative strategy and all that sort of stuff. When it really comes down to partnering with people on their creative ventures, we approach it a little bit differently. We're not exactly a production team or a production house or whatever it may be. We're not exactly a creative agency as a whole. We're somewhere in between. So yeah. explain it to those listening. What exactly have we established that we are with Mylan? How do we approach things? Well, anyone who's been with you and I for a long period of time knows that we started in music videos and we've always had this marketing approach. And let's be honest, we kind of took more of a content creation approach with artists. That same exact model is what we've kind of created with our brand partners. So for us, it's like content creation isn't, you know, it can be kind of gimmicky and it's looked at as like someone who shoots photo and video and does all these things. For us, it's that strategy piece that's kind of landed us on this term that I'm calling creative partnership. I think there's plenty of people that would identify with that. You know, a part of me is like agencies and the past that I've worked with really, you know, get focused on like the pie in the sky, the big idea, and they're, they're kind of removed from the practical application of it. And it, it doesn't always lead to this, but there's some inconsistencies and there's some over-promising and under-delivering that creates resistance. You know, at the end of the day, more than making beautiful projects, I want to make beautiful experiences. So to me, that comes through partnership. Partnership happens through trust, through relationship, and I say we're a relationship business. So leading to that is like, we can actually do a lot more than just really specialized video production or really specialized photography but it's really making harmony and consistency across all these pieces of content. So I say we create high volume campaigns through creative partnerships. That partnership can be with either, you know, a CMO or a founder who's running a small business. That could be with a huge organization that has a marketing department. That could be with a director and producer or an agency. The biggest thing is, is we're trying to come in and we're trying to simplify that production process, kind of create alignment along all parties and figure out the right partnership for this project at hand and make sure we're even the right fit. So another thing, like, you know, we, we talk about our approach. We talk about how we want to you know, navigate all this different form of, you know, content creation, whether it be through creative partnership, whether it be through being an actual just production team to come in. Let's dig into a little bit of why we saw a need for that. You know, wh why are we not just sitting and saying, oh yeah, we're creative agency and we're just gonna do everything A to Z or, oh, we're just a production team, just, hey, so-and-so agency, hire us to come in and do the thing. Why are we trying to blend everything? What's the, what's the purpose in which we're trying to approach with that? I mean, I think everyone is looking for innovation all the time. You know, that's a buzzy word. To me, one of the things is just, it's kind of how we've naturally done things. We've always been batch producers. We've always looked, looked at time and efficiency as something that we want to add value to. You know, who we serve is, sometimes it is the big company. Other times it's the underdog. So scalability plays a really big role in the way that we solve problems for our clients. But at the end of the day, it, it's looking at how are we going to use this time as responsible as possible? You know, our, our tagline is story takes responsibility. That's not just in making a beautiful piece of work. That's in, you know, you're going to give us your story. You're going to tell us about your business. You're going to bring us in as a partner. There's a responsibility that builds our reputation and builds your reputation simultaneously. So whether we're working with an agency or if we're working with, you know, a small founder, these dollars are valuable. And I think the day and age of a single, you know, big production going so far or having to outsource and have all these things, something we've kind of figured out is we have a lot of connections in being in the creative industry. So we have, you know, 
different people in different areas, whether that be in our state, out in California, New York, Florida, you know, in different areas and different departments that makes it easy for us to kind of apply the right solutions to the right problems. So for us, it's like, I like to see ourselves as a resource, but we can't really be resourceful for our partners until we have that relationship. So I know we could talk at nauseum about what Mylan is, what we're trying to do with Mylan production, all this sort of stuff. But let's kind of hone in on what people can expect from this podcast. Why, why are we making a Mylan podcast, right? Why did we decide to take this approach to share more information about how we do things, why we approach it that way? Because, I mean, hey, the stuff about Mylan, there's plenty of stuff already out there on the internet yeah. that you know, you've created and we've created over the years um, to really dig into, hey, here's Mylan and what we do. Let's talk about what we're doing right now. Why are you and I sitting with microphones, making another form of a podcast? Why, you know, why did you come to me and say, hey, help, help me sit down. Let's make this podcast, let's make a Mylan podcast. I've got this idea. Why are we sitting down? What can people expect from at least a season one of this, this Mylan podcast that we're trying to develop here? I mean, in short, it's adding value. That has always been an area that lights me up. But also I understand there is a long game with this too. So when I'm thinking about how we add value to people, it's whether you're working with us or you're just trying to figure this thing out. A big thing that you know breaks my heart is when you know companies are really intimidated by this video marketing thing. How do we help to dis demystify it? Help them understand what actually matters. It has nothing to do with a red camera or some big fancy lights or anything like that. Those are just tools to get the job done. What really matters is the foundation, the practicality, this storytelling thing that we preach all the time. Storytelling isn't just the artistry of it. It's how do we make a universe of content? We're going to be highlighting different things that help you to feel more confident, whether you're DIYing it, whether you're hiring a partner, or whether you're hiring us directly. I want you to feel more confident walking into your marketing efforts. So how do we add value? How do we educate you? How do we let you do that on your own time? How do we make a piece of content that you can take your marketing team and be like, we need to start doing this. I'm not saying we have all the answers, but I'm hoping we can spark a little bit of that inspiration, get you to kind of think a little bit differently about this thing and not feel so intimidated by it. Because I think the root cause is everyone looks at social media or marketing as this really intimidating, uncomfortable thing. The thing that we always try to do is we try to help you understand it's just honing your story, figuring out your voice, and then applying that in one creative form or another. This could be photography, this could be video, this could be writing, this could be any number of things. But I think until you understand, how do I wanna meet my audience? How can I creatively do that? How can we give you a gift of thinking differently about your brand, about your story? That's really the big takeaway. That's what we want. So I know this is an episode one, there's not really a topic or subject at hand. So one of my final things is, is there anything major that you feel like people can expect from us doing this podcast? I know we just talked a lot about like our, our hopes of like, hey, here's why we're trying to tackle this. Here's why we're creating a podcast around the work that we do to educate, you know, all sorts of people, open-minded people that want to like learn our process, that maybe want to work with us or alongside us. Is there anything major that you feel like we are trying to accomplish with creating this podcast, creating this podcast under Milan? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I want to invite you into our world. I want you I want you to be top of mind. I want us to be top of mind with you. I want to be that, you know, that friendship that you can listen to and you can understand how to do these things. I want, you know, you to feel confident in reaching out, you know, in any partnership that we've formed over the years, it's always like, hey, listen, I'm not trying to sell you on a project. I literally am just curious to hear a little bit about your business. I love talking about business as a business owner to a business owner and helping to under uncover like some blank areas or some, some ideas. I've lived in marketing for so long. I've lived in storytelling and video production and I can do it so easily and confidently and you can as well to where it's like, Hey, let's give you the gift. You know, these are conversations we have with our customers. These are conversations we have with each other. And we're trying to do that at scale now. We're trying to offer that resource in a way that's like, okay, cool. Maybe I'm not, I'm not you know, ready to do this right now, but maybe I'm ready to start myelinating my own brand on my own way right now. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. I like that. Well, I have to say you picked uh, the right person to be a co-host for this show because you grab somebody who loves talking to anybody and everybody about just about any and every thing. So I feel pretty good about that being an intro episode. We laid everything out for the people. We let them know what to expect, why we are doing this. 
Um, any last notes that you feel like we need to share? You know, I'm assuming that you're somewhat familiar to me and Ross, but just to get the formalities out of the way, it's like, you know, I work primarily as a video producer and a director of photography. So, you know, I'm all about relationship and understanding the organism of production, you know, and helping to move that in a direction that everyone's on the same page. Whereas you frequently frequently work as our creative director or our director on projects, which really filters into a number of different things, whether that be photography or hands-on work in that sense. But you really unify the vision and help get people excited about that sort of thing. So just, you know, for anyone who's just like on the techier side and wants to understand that position, that's the lens at which we're kind of coming at this from. And we really complement each other in the way we tackle these projects. And that's going to create, you know, while you're our host on this show, you do have your own perspective on these things, and I have my own perspective on these things. And I think that throughout this season, you're going to start to see how both of those sides inform this subject. Yeah, yeah. For this intro episode, I definitely wanted to give the floor to Josh more than anything. Of Again, this was your idea. You presented it to me. Um, it's your, your creative baby, so to speak. So, yeah, I wanted to give the floor to you to kind of like, hey, what are we making this show for? How are we going to do it? And so, yeah, as we dig deeper into this season, into all the, all the different, you know, different topics and all that sort of stuff that we have for all the different episodes we're going to be making. Um, yeah, you're going to be hearing from both of us. You're going to hear those different perspectives of how I would approach something compared to how Josh is going to approach something, how those things also blend together, um, and just how we approach everything from the pre-production process to meetings and conversations to coming up with creative ideas in general, how we implement that on an actual production day, and then how that leads into post-production, and then overall, a larger campaign, a larger strategy. Folks, we're going to be digging into a lot of stuff. It's not just going to be talking cameras. Uh, to be honest, if it were, I wouldn't be on this show because that's not what I talk about. Um, so we're going to be talking about a lot of things, a lot of, uh, a lot of the ways that we, with Mylan, approach all of our different creative endeavors, whether it be alongside a creative partner for a creative client, whatever it may be. We're going to dig into a lot on this, uh, on this podcast here that we are forming and beginning with this very first episode. So uh, if you do maybe want to check out the work that we've done so far with Mylan, you can follow at Mylan Creates or uh, what's the website URL? What is it? Mylan? Mylan, Mylan uh, dot company. Mylan dot company. That's it. If you really want to dig in to a lot of goodies there. But as for this episode, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, welcome to the show, and thanks for listening to the show all at the same time. I've been Ross, he's been Josh, and if there's one thing we're going to remind you of a lot in this podcast, it's that story, it takes responsibility. Thanks for joining us on another episode. If you found this episode helpful, share it with a friend, rate and like, and all the things we're supposed to tell you to do. If you want more storytelling tips and perspectives from the Mylan team, please join our newsletter and visit the website at mylan.company. That's M-Y-E-L-I-N dot company. Additionally, if you need help in your video marketing or want to learn more about our method, please feel free to book a discovery call with our team or email josh at jcp.co. This podcast wouldn't be possible without all the great companies that trust us, challenge our way of thinking, and offer amazing feedback. We love to add value to other companies, leaders, and productions. Being a part of that journey is an honor. This has been the Mylan Video Production Podcast. Story takes responsibility. Until next time.